Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm going to explain the differences between playing a 5 hybrid or a 5 iron in your bag and really talk about the differences in how club speed makes a huge difference in the height you hit the club and the landing angle and how far the ball will go. So it is very important for the players that have a slower swing speed to generate extra height to get the ball to carry a little further, but also give you stopping power as well. So this is gonna be a fun test to compare club speed differences with a five hybrid with only 65 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour, and then 95 miles an hour. To really compare the differences, it's gonna be a very, very wide difference. And then at the end, I'll throw in a five iron where I only have my swing speed at 65 miles an hour and explain why you should probably play the five hybrid over the five iron. So this would be a great video for those players that struggle a little bit with swing speed to compare the differences between a hybrid and iron. Before I hit some shots, I do ask, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Got plenty of other great content like this coming your way in the future. Let's hit some shots and take a look at some numbers. I hit six shots with each speed, so approximately 65 miles an hour, approximately 80, and approximately 95. You will notice I had a harder time getting it all the way down to 65, but keep in mind this is a good test for a player that has swing speed under 70 miles an hour with, say, their 5 iron or 5 hybrid. So first, you can see that the efficiency was the same with each speed. So you'll notice 149, 149, 149. So I was hitting the middle of the club face just as well, regardless of whether the club speed was 65, 80, or 95 miles an hour. First thing you kind of notice with the less speed, the ball launched a little bit lower. With more speed, the ball launched a little bit higher. With less speed, the ball spun less. With more speed, the ball spun more. And you definitely notice that big, big increase from 80 miles an hour to 95 miles an hour. You'll notice that the spin rate increased by about 1,200 RPMs when I was gener generating a lot of speed and a lot of height. Take a look at the, the carry distance. So you'll notice the carry distance went from 145 with 65 mile an hour club speed to 187 with 80 mile an hour club speed to 217 mile an hour with a 95 mile an hour club speed. So kind of a pretty big increase when it came to those club speed changes. The thing that stood out to me the most was the height. So you'll notice the height at 65 miles an hour was only 54 feet in the air, 86 feet in the air at 80 miles an hour and then 140 feet in the air at 95 miles an hour. Now that's important because I wouldn't typically fit a player that swings at 95 miles an hour with their five hybrid into a five hybrid. It would be, it would be a five iron instead because they generate adequate height to generate an adequate landing angle. So landing angle is kind of the next number you look at. So this is an important number to bring up because it's a number that I always pay attention to when I'm doing an iron fitting. If that landing angle with, say, a player's seven iron starts getting lower than 45 to 40 degrees, that's when we will have that conversation and say, hey, your longer irons, we're probably going to need to play a hybrid. And we will definitely bring up the numbers when I hit a five iron compared to a five hybrid with the same speed. And we'll talk about the differences between those two there as well. But you can notice 
with a lot of speed, my landing angle was well over 50 degrees, which is definitely too much. The ball is going to stop very fast and spin a lot and not go as far as you possibly want it to go. You'll notice at 80 miles an hour, we're around about 41.2, so that wasn't too far off. So pretty interesting kind of stuff here. You Kind of interesting to see the dynamic loft was pretty similar across the board with regards to club speed as well. So pretty accurate. I did mention I wanted to add in the 5-iron because this is going to be very important to compare a 5-iron to 5-hybrid. So let's bring up the 5-iron. So with similar club speed comparing the 5-iron and the 5-hybrid, you will notice that the ball speed, the efficiency numbers were pretty close. The numbers that were not close was launch angle, was carry distance, was height, and landing angle. So even though my club speed was very, very similar with the 5 iron and the 5 hybrid, you will notice that I picked up 15, over 15 yards of carry distance by playing the hybrid instead. And I picked up about eight yards overall. But carry distance is very important when you're hitting shots into the green. And that comes down to the height and the landing angle. When I was swinging the 5 iron at the same speed as the 5 hybrid, you will notice my height was only 33 feet in the air with the 5 iron. Not very high at all. So if you're a player that doesn't have much speed with, with your irons, a hybrid is definitely a great option to consider. And make sure you work with a club fitter to figure out where you make that transition from an iron to a hybrid across in your bag. You notice the landing angle changed from 33 degrees to 24 degrees. We are sacrificing kind of a lot of carry distance comparing the numbers there as well. So I do want to bring up the dispersion pattern just to show you really quickly. So if we look at this dispersion pattern, you can see the blue circle. That was the 5 iron. It was shorter than the 5 hybrid, quite significantly shorter. We're talking a little over about 130 yards on average with the 5 iron. But you'll notice about 145 yards of carry distance with the 5 hybrid there too. If we transition back to the other speeds with the hybrids, you can see how the more speed that I generated, the further the ball went. But it's kind of interesting once you get up to that very, very high swing speed. You can see with the 95 mile an hour speed, that circle gets a little bit closer to the 80 mile an hour club swing. So you can see how there's kind of a, a limit to how far the, the five hybrid will go if you swing really hard at it. And that's why players with a lot of speed don't generally play a hybrid. So today's video really focuses on the importance of playing an iron or a hybrid depending on your club speed. We today tested with a 5 hybrid and a 5 iron comparing differences in club speed. You kind of can notice when, I'm hit, when I hit the 5 iron here, if we look at the, the trajectory screen, the ball was only carrying in the 30 feet area. If we look at the hybrid, you can see how the ball was flying about 20 to 30 feet in the air higher. So you can see that transition from the blue line with the 5 iron to the white line with the 5 hybrid and see how the ball was just flying a lot higher and that's going to give you plenty more stopping power. So it's important to work with a club fitter at second swing online or in store to make sure that you get fit for your type of golf game whether that be based on your club speed or your needs to get the ball up in the air to stop the ball. So come on into second swing to get fit for new irons if you're having a hard game with your iron game. Also, keep an eye on our YouTube channel. We've got plenty other great content like this coming your way in the future.